Okay, so now that we've created the Django project and got that set up, the next thing to do is to create it, a Django app. And Django apps are pieces of functionality within a Django project, and it's just a way that Django works. You're, you can make multiple apps within one project, and the idea is that you would be able to take one app from one project and use it in another one if you want. Um, you don't have to, obviously. That's just kind of the thought process and it separates concerns for different features to organize things but we'll get into that later so the next thing we need to do now is to create an app so we'll create a recipes app and so to do that we run another command so before make sure your virtual environment is activated we uh, activated it in the last video so if you forget how to just hop back there and activate it real quick so that we have Django and everything installed and so then we want to type Python manage.py start app all one word and then the name of the app so we're making a recipes application here so we'll just call it recipes like that and now that it's run you see it creates this recipes folder and we'll dive into that in a sec one thing that you always need to remember to do whenever you create a new app is go into your main project settings.py file and there is this on line 33 installed apps list and so you need to add the app so put recipes because that's the name of the app and I like to separate these out and add a little comment and say local apps and save that and so this lets the Django project know to look in this recipes app for things um, we don't need to worry about right now it's just something that we always have to do so now that we've created the app and updated the settings we can take a look at the recipes folder and so the main thing I want to look at right now are views and URLs so the way that Django works is that there's URLs for example in this URLs.py on the project there's URLs that map to functions or classes that are in the views file and so here it's saying basically when somebody goes to slash admin www.mywebsite.com slash admin to go to admin.site.urls run whatever function or class is there and uh, return back whatever gets returned from that that function be it a website a web page data whatever and so the very first thing we're going to do is come into our recipes project or app and create a view so one thing we need to import is HTTP response like that HTTP response and then down here we can just define a function call it home and they all take a request so that's the, basically the request coming in and then what we want to return is an HTTP response and in here we could say whatever we want to display so we can put h1 h1 tags and within that we could say welcome to my recipes app okay and we save this and now in order for Django to know when to give this HTTP response we need to set up a urls.py file in this recipes app so we need to create that file so new file urls.py it's going to be blank, right? We can grab the urls.py file from our project. So just copy and paste, copy this, paste it into our app, apps url.py. We don't need this first line, so we can just control X to get rid of that. We'll edit out, we'll edit this path so it just is the home path, so it's just um, empty empty st empty string and then what we want it to return is well we need to import this that function we just made from this folder so import views so that import from current location import views and then here we can tell it to run views dot home and we can also give it a name which name equals recipes dot dash home which will be useful later on when we want to look up specific URLs but for now 
we can do this. So right now we have this URL pattern that says path empty string. When someone goes to the empty string of our empty empty path of our website, run this views.home function and return whatever gets returned. And so from that views.py file, our home function takes a request and returns this HTTP response. And so we should see this displayed. So we can go ahead and run our server, python manage.py run server. And now we have these migrations that we'll take care of in, in the future, but it's running and we go to localhost port, port 8000. If we drag that over here, okay, it's working, but it shouldn't it be, it should be loading that page here. For some reason, it's not loading that response. And that's because it doesn't know where to look. So right now it's just using our project URLs saying, okay, are any of these URLs matching anything? Then serve up that page. So right now we need to update this file to include, include, to include this include function. And then we're going to create another path. So we'll create a path and we'll just make this one um, recipes slash and then here where we say what to return we'll put includes include and then recipes.urls and so what this basically says is that anytime someone goes to the path www.mywebsite.com slash recipes slash anything go to recipes.urls so the recipes folder in the urls file and use those URL patterns. So now when we the server restarted because we should save the file. So we go back to our site and we go slash recipes if I can spell it right slash and we get welcome to my recipes app. Amazing. So now we are actually taking in a request and returning something to the user. So that's very cool. Um, but now let's just make one quick change here so that we don't have to go to slash recipes. We just want them to go to the home page and have that be the home route. So we'll, in the project urls.py file, we'll make this a empty path and include recipes at URL. So now when they go to an empty route, it'll just be our home page. And now let's do this one more time so we get the hang of it so we can add so we can go back to our views. So remember, the view is what gets returned. So we can make uh, an about page, an about page. So we'll do an about function that takes the request and it returns an HTTP response. And this time we'll say, we'll do another H1 tag and we'll say, um, this is a recipes app to keep track of your recipes. Okay, very basic, but you get it? So now we have the function set up and the view set up, but now we need to set up the URL so that it knows uh, when to run that and, and when to handle that request. So we're gonna hold the shift alt on Windows and click the down arrow and it'll duplicate this path. And so now we can go about slash and the ending slash is a good practice just because it'll be a catch-all so if you go to about or about slash then they'll both go to this route and so uh, from for the view we want views dot about this time because that's what we just made and here we'll say recipes dash about and we'll save this the server reloads so we'll give it a second to reload and we'll go back to our site and now if we go slash about this is a recipes app to keep track of your recipes and if we just go to the home welcome to my recipes app awesome so that is getting the initial app set up and also a bit about the URLs and the views and then in the next video we will begin to 
look at actually showing maybe HTML and uh, HTML templates. But if you have enjoyed the video, like it, lets me know that you have learned something and enjoyed it, or comment and let me know, and it uh, helps motivate me to make these. And I also just have a, a great time making these as well. But comment and let me know uh, anything I could do to make them better or what you uh, are planning to use this tutorial to do if that's try and get a job or try and make an idea a reality. Either way, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.